Okay, so we're making rosettes. I made them in high school and this looks very much exactly like the set we had back then. I'm sure it's way better though. I'm thinking the one I had back then was aluminum and Feels good. And the kids are yelling on the thing. Great. Ready. Alright, so I'm gonna wash these up and get those ready. Because 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 of the wonderful things he does. It's the 12 days of cookies. You don't have to know. It's the 12 days of cookies. Days of cookies? <laughs> I'm making rosettes, not pizzelles. Two farm fresh eggs. We're making cookies. She's got her Good Times Homestead shirt on. It's not mine, but I did find it. Whose is it? Mm. I mean, you don't know. Let me see. All right, slightly beat eggs in a medium bowl, mix in sugar and milk, sift flour with salt, stir into a mixture and beat until smooth, about consistency of heavy cream, mix in extract until incorporated, transfer batter to a shallow dish. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Then you need two inches of oil in a skillet to 325, immerse the rosette mold into the hot oil until thoroughly heated and blot excess oil off rosette molds. Dip hot molds in a dish filled with batter so that batter covers all but the top of the rosette molds. Immerse again in hot oil, covering completely. Remove from oil when bubbling ends and pastry is golden brown. Slip rosettes off the mold, gently tapping should the pastry stick. If rosettes fall off into oil, let sit until golden brown and remove with fork. When rosettes are cool, sprinkle with powdered sugar and serve. Makes approximately 45 to 50. Oh, we're gonna be here a minute. Yeah. All right, and we're supposed to let the the batter refrigerate for two hours before we make them. What? Don't touch the eggs. You just want to see it. Okay. Wow. Don't touch them. I got to wash them before <laughs> we use them. But I'm not going to wash all of them. Just the two that we use. And these are the freshest that we just got today from the girls. So we're going to use these two over here because we've been adding them like that. So I'm gonna take two out and wash them. Nope, I gotta, no. You gotta go wash your hands. Okay. Ready to make it. Hold on, well, I'm gonna make it in this bowl right here, okay? Can I crack one? No. We've seen you crack eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to try to do it. Good. Yes. Why I'm just wondering why this one? Well, yeah, you crack it into a different bowl to make sure that it's not bad. Mama. You can whisk. You're going to whisk. You're going to whisk. I'm so excited. I know. Here's the tiny one. Okay. Hold the handle with your hand. Okay. Keep it. Keep it not by the edge. Mix, mix, mix. Okay. Oh, I wanted to show the green onions that we popped in water for our hot and sour soup. <laughs> Free green onions. So they're not walking onions. No, these are not walking onions. These are regular green onions. And I could plant them and grow more onions and seed heads and flowers, onion flowers, that whisked. Okay, whisk it up. Does it need to be golden? It needs to be golden, yes. Eggs, sugar, milk. Eggs. One, one cup of milk and two teaspoons of sugar. Here's the sugar, whisky whisk, two teaspoons, and keep it slow. Here's a cup of milk. We are using oat milk. You can use whatever milk you like. Mm. Can I taste delicious? Don't taste it yet. I'm not. Okay. 
Okay, but the cookie will. Sure. Sift a cup of flour. A cup of sifted flour, not one cup of flour sifted. You know the difference? Mm. Careful. Look. Mm -hmm. Is that a mess? Mess. So I'm going to sift a unlevel cup. Uh, is that okay? Yeah, that's good. Keep it right there. Bring it over here. Oh, keep that down. Okay. You're like um, automatic. I'm what? Automatic? Mm -hmm. huh? That. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Stay back. I make this part. Hang on. Do I make this part? Hang on. So, sifted flour, one cup of flour, and then sifted makes more than a cup of flour not sifted. I'm making it some smooth. Mm -hmm. Okay, give it slowly a mix, please. Okay. Okay, we had two teaspoons of sugar, two eggs, one cup of milk, one cup of sifted flour. Oops, I forgot to sift a quarter teaspoon of salt into the flour. And that's okay. Mm -hmm. Quarter teaspoon. The cookies are gonna taste delicious. Mm -hmm. Scraping all the flour down. Can I give it a mix? I'm gonna give it a mix and put it in the fridge, okay? okay. Ooh, the vanilla. Is it gonna make it dark? Teaspoon. Plastic wrap, so I'm sticking it in a ziplock. Ma'am, 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 sir, ma'ams and sirs. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Now comes the tricky part: heating up oil and <laughs> cooking them. So we're gonna try it. Good. Probably not going to make 50 cookies. I don't have any cheap oil. Oil, avocado oil. It's not two inches, it's like half an inch. Maybe I use the wok and then I'll have a deeper place. Hmm. So yeah, with the wok, be able to get a deeper fry. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. We'll use the candy thermometer, but you don't want this to touch the bottom of the pot. All right, here goes nothing. This is gonna smoke up the house. Don't put it all the way in. Pick it and stick it all. Oops, it didn't do it. 
Mm. I need a little bit of batter. Get some popping action. Smells delicious. Oh, yeah. leaving it in the oil just enough till I see it turn a little golden. Ooh. Get the oil back in there. Pop it off a little. And keep on going. Oh, this is fun. I remember this. It smells so good. And then we'll dust them with powdered sugar once they cool off. Otherwise, it'll just melt right in and dissolve, and you won't see it. So we'll wait till they cool off a little bit. Mmm. That one didn't stick all the way around. Either my iron wasn't hot enough. It's very tricky. These came out perfect. My first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven came out perfect. That's going to taste just fine. After this one, we're gonna make some stars. I better be recording. That is all I have to say about that. I better be recording. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh. People would say, Jane, you bought those cookies at the store. Switch it. Now this is hot. So, be careful. This is why I didn't want to switch, but I gotta make some stars. Christmas. Make sure it's on tight. Make sure it's not wet.
guess what? I am not left-handed. Name the movie. I'm sticking it in the batter until I hear the sizzle go away and then I'm putting it in the oil. That seems to be working pretty good. So you want it to cook onto the iron just enough because it's the iron is hot. Before you lift it, otherwise it'll just slide back into this. Uh oh, now we're gonna see what happens when it goes up over the top of your iron. Oh, maybe not, it released itself. Awesome, you're so smart, iron. It's coming up through the crannies. This one's gonna be weird, but delicious. <laughs> Again, delicious. And even though I'm using vanilla, I never checked to make sure I was recording. Oh, thank goodness. Whew. Even though I'm using vanilla from Lazy Days Ahead with Jesse and Lisa, Jesse, I'm not gonna be able to send you these cookies. I don't think they would travel well. You just gotta focus. You just gotta focus. One thing at a time, no multitasking, no checking cameras, no talking about lazy days ahead with Jesse and Lisa, none of that. No talking about CNC Farm, no talking about Ashley, no talking about the 12 days of cookies. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. A perfect oh. oh yeah, this is gonna make a lot of cookies. Don't touch them. No! I barely just tried one little bite. That was the first thing I ever tasted of it. Don't touch anything. I see you over there, and the video is coming. You try one and say, hi, I'm Steve. Hi, I'm Steve. Mm. Mm -hmm. Powder trick. Mm -hmm. I do say more things than I am, Steve. I'm not like Groot. <laughs> Bye! jar up there in the cupboard? In this one? Yeah, that jar, that big jar right there. No, do I use a specific thing? 
thing? Yes, you do. A tablespoon, I believe. No, you're gonna get a the little the little strainer. It looks like a colander on a stick, and it's small. Um, it's a strainer, and it's silver. This. Yeah. That's the one. Whoa, be careful. Do I Whoa. Get over? Whoa. Yes, but put the jar. No. Put the jar down. Get a spoon. And then you're going to tap ah, the spoon right. into the sifter. Right. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll just dump powdered sugar everywhere. on it. Now, you gotta give it a little tap. Like this. Nope, nope, no, no, no. Like this. Oh, yeah, like you have too much. Got it. Got it. Hold on. That's because, um, yeah, no. Here you go. Oh, this one over here. Don't put powdered sugar on that, it'll melt. in 53 minutes, just like it said. Woohoo! Mm. We're still looking at you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Those are really good. No one with powdered sugar, man? Sure. Mm-hmm. Is that it? Can you get this, please? Yeah, there's more over here. I'll, I'll, I'll start licking the plate. I know. 